All right, folks, welcome back to another YouTube video. This is Melifor. Welcome back to another series called Song of Nunu, or Nanu. I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce that, but this is one of the League of Legends story uh, games that I came across. Um, I think I saw it originally maybe on YouTube, and then I kind of forgot about it. And then I noticed that it was actually in my um, queue for... Uh, for Steam. Steam actually has this really cool feature called the Discovery Queue, and it bases like your games that you have already in your library and what games you play the most. And it sort of like, you know, how ads like have cookies and incentivize to show you things that you would mainly be interested in. That's sort of what Steam has um, built in. So that's pretty damn cool. Um, it's what made me aware of this game again. Um, I do believe I did see the uh, gameplay trailer uh, like a month or two ago, maybe. Um, I could totally be like misconstruing all this information. I'm not exactly sure, um, but I'm just glad to be playing it now. So let's freaking get into this game. So just to double check, we're going to be on... So we're 4K, 60 FPS, um, blah, blah, blah. Everything else is very high. Yeah, okay. And then the gamma is correct. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Uh, let's go into audio. We'll make large subtitles. Eh, no, we'll just keep it at medium. Just in case, if it's too big, um, you can invert the axis, which is cool. Subtitle color. Um, combat assist, jump assist, visual hint assist, auto ice ball. Huh. All right. Well, I think that's about it. So let's click new game right now. Um, I'm probably going to have to turn down the music. I think that should be okay. And let's jump into this game. Oh, I kind of like when games do this where they like allow you to sort of like interact with the cutscene or the cutscene transitions to gameplay like very smoothly. Uh oh, I fell over. Oh, there he is. Hang on. We're almost there. Well, are you okay? You don't seem okay. So, uh, if you're not okay, just roar or grunt or anything. Just get up. Remember the heart of the blue, a fire for the darkness, a candle for the night. You must find it, Nunu. To find it is to find me, too. Look for the winged mountain. Find the heart of the blue. Where are you? 
buddy? Graphics actually look pretty good for it being like a cartoonistic uh, nature. Um, I'm going to turn up the volume again just a little bit. Oh, he fucking threw a snowball at me. Giant ass blueberry, bro. So I guess I just follow him for a little bit. Finally here at last. The unknown north of the Freljord. Just feeling it, Willem. This will be our biggest adventure. Yeah. Buddy! Hey, buddy! <laughs> Dude, that's kind of sick. So let's check around, like, just to see if, like, there's any, like, secret collectibles. There's about like 40-ish achievements in this game uh, on Steam, which is pretty crazy um, considering I think it's like a shorter game um, considering the price. Uh, the price of the game, um, MSRP I guess you would call it, is $30. Which is not bad for a game of this quality, you know? Okay, that's kind of lame. So you can run, but like... You run right off cliffs, which is kind of dumb. Like, you can't stop either. Although, I don't know. Running's kind of cool. Oh, that's kind of sick. of like optimization issues though that I'm noticing like a little bit of lag spikes which is surprising but I think that's just due to the um, game not taking or not asking for enough power from the GPU is what it seems because my GPU is around like the the cable at least there's 140 watts going through the cable which if I open Honkai Star Rail, for example, it uses like 400 watts through the cable. And that's not even counting what's going into the GPU itself. That's just the cable, you know? So the... Um... I believe the, uh... The GPU could be even higher. Oh, nice. Oh, look, I'm fucking... I'm King Kong, bro. That's the same moveset as King Kong. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That is funny, dude. Look at that. Are they wolf ships? Ooh. I was trying to jump over there to see if there was like anything I could do. Ah, oh, there's like a little shortcut. That's cool. That is actually sweet. So like speedrunner strats. Oh, I died. 
So press X just as you land to get a speed boost. What the heck? Okay, this is a little annoying, I'm not gonna lie. Wow. I don't know why that was so difficult for me, but I'm glad we got it. Go over here. Uh, that was just a pointless, uh, <laughs> a pointless uh, freaking run. Maybe no, maybe it wasn't. No, I guess it could have been. Cause either way, you could drop down, I believe. So yeah, that was kind of pointless. <laughs> Looks like these have been preserved in the ice. Once with mom on her bandy roof ship, just like this. Yeah, she told me it was really old, like three sisters were old. It looked just like this. So small, dude. Whoa! Did you see that? You must have been frozen right in the middle of the storm. Here? Well, if you're ready to lose again. He's actually fucking hard to hit. Oh, here we go. I got him blocked. Bro, I wonder if there's like an achievement for not taking damage. So I think we should wrap it up here. Um, I'm going to try and keep these episodes like about 15 minutes or so. 
per episode. So if you guys do go on to enjoy this episode, please give a like down below. Let me know what you think. How's the quality? Everything. How's the audio quality? Video quality? Visual fidelity? Blah 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 bl